Hey guys, welcome to Cargo by Ice Pick Lodge. Um, Ice Pick Lodge is actually quite a famous indie game developer who made several interesting games, including this one. Um, I'll just hop right in and show you guys what this game is all about. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Oh, Go down. It's going to miss our landing. Slack the stay away. Drop anchor. Heave ho. Descend, you fool. Lower. Go lower, I say. I can't go any lower. I need more weight. We have more weight than anybody. Get us down or I'll take the cockpit myself. I'd like to see you try. Fireworks. They've come out to greet us. This time we've hit the jackpot. An offer like this comes once in a lifetime. We put all our savings into this trip and it was worth it. Uplift and downfall. Our planet is falling apart. All things on Earth are losing weight and flying into the sky. But there's still hope. A great development is starting on the Bros Island. The locals seem able to produce a precious substance. Fun. It's an organic matter that somehow regains weight. Need some gears and are paying generously with fun. The hippo vessel was delivering a cargo of unique machinery when it was accidentally shot down by excited locals. Captain Borkin courageously bailed out. The cowardly mechanic Fox stayed on board to look after her beloved gears. Now the priceless cargo is sinking and there's no sign of intelligent life. There's Fox, an engineer trainee. With all the objects. It's all the same. The crash landing was a great success! Our finest, most important minds came to greet our honored guests. Yet somehow they miscalculated, your position wasn't triangulated. You landed far from the festivities and made a horrible mess. But don't be sad, it's not that bad. Our little orchestra was running late and through a twist of fate are the first to meet you on this date. We'll now sing a song for you. How glad we are you joined our crew. There were no humans left, at least that's what we were told After they flew away in days of old And now look at you, alive and well and human too Came from the sky like a fairy tale Why are you so sad and pale? Don't feel blue, you're a pilot You'll fly again and teach us too That's interesting oh, the So the floods they cannot handle Enjoy getting kicked, I guess. Well, I was like, plot away if the body or two over accidents explode the excitement of flight, play back to fire again as soon as they erupt from the volcano. Huh. Autumn falls. Continents fly away into warm countries.
one sec. I think this game maybe is a little too loud. I'm gonna turn it down here quickly. I think it probably is overpowering. That should be a little better. Sorry about that, guys. I am Manipool, the creator, and your client. We cannot accept delivery. The cargo is only technically here. Look, it's wet, it's sinking, it's on fire. That's not what the contract guaranteed. I am Manipool too. Deus ex machina. I assert, the engineer is lousy. She doesn't build or fix a thing, just kicks ass and chews gum. Come to think of it, we didn't need an engineer, we needed a plumber. A flood was on the agenda. And I am Manny Poo, oh. Deus Ex Machina 3 in 1, and I agree to, to, to compromise, for I am so full of mercy. So be it. We, the demiurges of Earth, are ready to hire this engineer girl. What a surprise! They don't have any other candidates. Even if she only builds a toaster, it better not be a half-assed job. As a god, I could trust your word, but as a machine, I can't defy my program. Her first task will be to retrieve our sinking parts from the water. We will provide her with equipment, a raft, a sail, a mast, the wind, and, and a discount price. As a god, he could give it to you for free. But as a machine, it can only sell. You'll have to pay for the sale with fun. The gods won't give you anything for free, even if it hurts them in the long run. Okay, well there's our ship. I don't have to say Let's kick some of these things yeah, apart. Nothing. Ta da! Ta da! There's these guys again. Come closer, blocks. Behold, please stop. For here we have Exhibit A, the sinkhole, the scientific marvel of our day. An impressive landmark, wouldn't you say? The great makeover progresses at speed. The demiurges are enthusiastic indeed. But when blowing the earth apart, they neglected an important part. The difficulty of putting the pieces back. They had the best intentions, but I'm afraid there's nothing to salvage now but dead weight. Any junk full of kilograms holds more value than pearls in monstrous plans. Whatever still has weight, just throw it in the sinkhole and leave it to its fate. In return, you'll receive a generous reward, much better than the junk thrown overboard. I like these the guys' rocks. The sinkhole stuff down to Earth's core. That's hot. It cooks it for a bit, adding spices and more. And then, just like a loaded gun, it erupts with buddies full of fun. Interesting. That's cool. Ta da! Ta da! So, we got a sail, we're kicking buddies. If we need more buddies, we can pull this domain to the signal. Guys, I'm here. Don't go here. 
Oh, we completed one set of notes. Here we go! Hurry, your highness! Ta-da! Just tap for the Sail moves the boat in the direction of the wind. Wind direction can be seen from the angle of the sail. Sail can be lowered to prevent traveling in the wrong direction. Sir. That's just more fears and some Okay, so that was that must be cargo. So, the floods they cannot handle. Ta da! Interesting. Right. We're going to have to head that direction anyway, so we may as well take the piano and make more buddies. God, there's a shit ton of bodies over here. I'll teach you rascals to fly. Okay, kick my off the skull. I need a tinker with the vessel. Okay. Need a mount. Exactly, you must press the lead. That's not fix. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Okay, good. She stopped saying I love my job. I'm starting to get worried. Where's the wind going? Well, we'll just tack.
So tacking, if you guys don't know, is as a sailing um, term for um, surfing your boat in and out of the wind. You can actually do it in real life. But I think that's enough for this episode, guys. We'll be back for in a bit for another episode of Cargo. Thanks for coming out, guys. See you in a second.